But yeah, that's it. We uh catch, clean, and cook. We completed it, y'all. We did it. We, we we didn't know we were gonna be able to do the whole catch, clean, and cook part, but we actually did it. Catch, clean, and cook. We did it. Got going on today we're gone got a lot of things going on today we're uh we got a bag of hog feed in the van we need to get out first go feed the hogs and then it's about time for boaz our, our male uh ram to go in with the ewes yeah. with our female sheep so we can get them bread for for springtime babies and uh so we'll get him moved from down in the the ram pen into the the section with the rest of the sheep mm -hmm. and uh then we got some fishing poles and uh got yeah! some crickets and me and the boys are gonna go out and test the waters on the pond we hadn't did anything with the pond in a while so the boys gonna toss in a few times. We're gonna see if we can catch a couple of brim. Maybe do a uh, brim catch, clean, and cook. Might, 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 might catch a couple of bass. Maybe a catfish. I hope so. We'll see if we can get out of there. But it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's the perfect day, if you ask me. It's a little overcast. Yeah. It's been raining. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so we love to fish on days like this because the fish, you know, they bite good on days where it's raining and overcast. And they don't like cool. the heat. They kind of exactly. hide from the heat. So mm -hmm. they should be biting pretty well. So we're excited about this farm day. We're gonna go and. Uh, Get the farm chores done, get the pig feed in, and try and move Boaz. So let's get to it. Yep, let's see what we can get into today. Pig fed. We finna go and get Boaz and put him in here with the other sheep. We have a little collar here, a little leash, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna lead him with the bucket, you know, cause he'll follow the, the grain bucket. But then we're gonna put a collar around him just in case, you know, so we can have a little bit of control over him. latest <laughs> yeah we got we got Boaz back in here with his latest yep. and he's already ready to do his job and so uh we're just gonna get everybody fed and kind of watch him for a minute look at him, he already doing his job we're going to get everybody fed and kind of watch him for a minute to make sure he's not being too aggressive with anybody so yep but that that, that went pretty easy <laughs> oh. 
we need to move this hay here off the fence this big bale hay has gotten pushed up against the fence so we i actually went in the mini bar and got these pitchforks and we just completely forgot we have a brand new bad boy tractor so tim went to get on the tractor and warm it up so he's just gonna push the the hay in front with the tractor and then push this bell and get it off the fence so we'll be able to do all that work with the tractor instead of trying to do it by hand this hay move from the fence and we've taken most of it and put it in piles to spread out but I'm gonna go and take some of the good hay now and put it underneath a little shelter and the rest of the bad hay will just spread out and hope that some grass grows underneath it Fishing poles. You know what we're about to do next. Stop, hold on, boys. Y'all get back. Can we get the cooler? Let's yeah. go down to the pond. How many fish are you gonna catch? Three. How many? Two. Two. How many fish are you gonna catch? Five. Five. Okay. I That'd be great. Fifty. Good, good. Put the bucket up there. First cast for the fishing day. Let's see if we can catch some on the oh gotta put some bait on that first. <laughs> <laughs> I was like You crazy. Is there bait on there? I just knew he got a creek and I was like, okay, maybe he got a creek. Alright, take two. First cast of the day. We should catch a fish on this first cast. Oh, Remember, 
Let's go on the really now. Really? Hold up, hold up. Wait, wait. You gotta wait You got a fish. Got a fish. fish of the day. Woohoo! There's a little one. I think they're going to be biting good today. Mm -hmm. The blam. Yeah. Force fish blam. Force one. He's a little one, but get him close to the camera, look big. <laughs> He's a little one, but he about eating size. You know, I like to keep the first one. Good blessings. Earth this other day, going in the bucket. Going in the water. There's a fish on there. Oh, how you catch it so quick? Do it. Number two, they're tiny, they'll get bigger. Third fish, third fish, they get, they're getting bigger. Yep, she didn't get this one on camera. He hit the fishing pole like a little bass. Y'all, your friends are coming. Yep. Nice size brim. Put them back in there, Ty. This is what we call brim in Mississippi. Y'all might call them, uh, I don't know what y'all call them. Y'all let me know in the, in the comments what y'all call these fish. We call them brim in Mississippi. Slack out. All right, right there. Good job, Good job. Good job. Good job. Like when they get bigger than your hand, you know that's, Let me see. that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You see the size of my hand? Oh, yeah. The size of the fish. fish. Yep. I really want to eat some fish too. Yes, you did. Damn, damn. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nope, baby. I don't know. You got another one. Yeah, you did a little one this time. Uh, little old bit on that time. Yeah. Throw him back. We've caught somewhere between 15 and 20 fish so far, and the boys are still catching. I'm hoping to have a really good dinner <laughs> out of it. We're just enjoying the beauty of this pond. We had a great time doing farm chores. We were able to move Boaz without any trouble. And now we're just chilling, having fun out here at IG Farms. All right, y'all, so we're back at the house now. We uh, caught our fish. We got our brim laid out. I already sk uh, skinned them or took the uh, scales off. And so it's, pre it's a pretty much simple process of what we do. So we're jumping around, Ty. I'm not excited. So what we do is just come in, cut the head off. Come straight down behind the head and cut it off. And 
and then once you get the head off just come in right down the belly and put a little small little slit right here until they open up a little bit and you reach your finger in take the guts out very very simple and then what we do is we just batter them up with like flour and uh, cornmeal and we season them and everything and then we fry them up. I'm gonna show you one more and I'm gonna go and get the rest of them done. So you just take it, like I said, I've already scraped all the scales off. So you just take it, get behind the head there. Straight line down. Not too complicated. Put the head to the side. Make a little slit. And major. Down the middle, down the, the, the stomach right there. And then just reach your finger in and pull the guts out. There's not too many guts in there. Yep, and that's a clean fish. Ready to be battered and fried. So I'm gonna keep on doing that and get all these cleaned up. And then we'll get our batter and, and, and batter them up. And then we'll put them on some grease and we're gonna do some uh, hush puppies and, 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 and homemade french fries as well with them. So I'm gonna keep on getting on with this and get them all cleaned up. Alright y'all, so we finally completed the process. We have our fish here. We have hush puppies. We did some tater logs. And we also did what we call uh, chip chip fries. We just cut them like a, you know, in a round shape instead of in a long shape, like in the fast food restaurants. But yeah, that's it. We uh, catch, clean, and cook. We completed it y'all. We did it. We, we, we didn't know if we were going to be able to do the whole catch, clean, and cook part, but we actually did it. Catch, clean, and cook. We did it. All right, so we're getting ready to eat, and uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. It's IG Farms. Bye.